I think we are. I think. I think we are almost live here. I think we are live. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday morning. Uh, it should be a fun session this morning. Uh, so I just uploaded a post last night. Okay, uh, it's a first look on the Mizen birds uh, from Optional. Okay, so I had a. Uh, I actually made videos. Okay, for you guys. So you don't have to watch the live streaming. So I, I made a, a unboxing video and also installation video as well. And also I pulled a shot. And also I compare with the side by side comparison with uh, Meisenberg, the Gen 1 and Gen 2. Okay, so Gen 1 and Gen 2. By the way, I think we have some controversial going on with uh, how do you say Meisenberg? People say Meisen. I say Meisen. Uh, I mean, if you know the exact how to pronounce that name let me know in the comment section as well uh, according to option o, uh, pro, uh proper pronoun is the meisen bird so if they say meisen i don't know how they come up with but anyway uh tomato tomato right uh so let's talk about uh, this uh meisen bird so this, so this is a gen 2. so hold on let me show the gen 1. okay so Gen 1 has a coating, the special coating. Okay, it's a very shiny, okay? But with the Gen 2, it doesn't have a coating, which means according to option O, you don't have to season it, okay? According to option O, you don't have to season that birds as much as the, you know, coated. So, uh, so far, I did about, what, five shots so far? Man, I have to say, okay, I have to say, uh, it's been, very impressive okay as you can see i got some quite a few birds here so it comes to 64 millimeter okay i'm talking about 64 millimeter uh as family we have a hu as high uniformity is really great for espresso comes to filter coffee it's not as good okay i have to say and also uh let's see here we got the mp multi-purpose is great for like uh clarity but it doesn't have much as body all right and then we have caspers casper is kind of like in between okay and then what are well, what else is out there uh we have uh, uh gorilla birds okay we have gorilla birds from australia as well they give you a very unique uh tasting notes okay but now when it comes to option o uh they come out the uh, meisen birds the gen one it's kind of like very similar to cast but it's not quite. But with the Gen 2, it's already installed here. Oh man, uh, so far it's been, I have to say, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, so far, 2023. So this is great thing about 64 millimeter. You have a lot of options, guys. Okay, I have to say, I know there's 98 millimeter grinders out there. You got 83. But comes to, if you're a coffee hobbyist, you know, like us, if you are watching this channel, most likely you are a coffee hobbyist. If you want to play with uh, different tasting notes, different coffee, light roast, dark roast, I mean, 64 millimeter is kind of like, you're gonna have some fun with it, okay? You're gonna have some really fun with uh, 64 millimeter burst sets out there. But here's the thing about the grinder. Oh, maybe we are going to touch on that, uh, comes to which grinder you should get for 64 millimeter unfortunately if you want a meisenberg gen 2 i think you have to buy p64 at the moment okay it's all sold out anyway but uh if you want it i think you have to buy the uh, grinder with it so it's not cheap okay uh, option o p64 you're looking about 1700 dollars okay, 1700 dollars for the grinder so it's not cheap grinder but man if you're a hobbyist again I think that's the worthwhile, okay, worthwhile. Uh, I was talking to my buddy Jason this morning. Coffee is like cheapest hobby out there. Comes to cars, comes to audio. I mean, come on. I mean, you could spend $100,000 on car pretty easily, right? Comes to audio equipment, 50, 60 grand. You don't even think twice about it, okay? Comes to coffee. Think about coffee equipment. Um, you are going to the top of the line in the world, okay, the best of the best. I say, well, less than 20 grand as a setup. I'm talking about the, the best. 
what's the best uh, car collection? And uh, just the best car, you are looking at million bucks, right? Million dollars for the car, could be more. Okay, uh, audio equipment, you can, you're gonna spend a couple hundred grand pretty easily. Uh, if you're looking at the bicycle, okay, 20, 30 grand, motorcycle up there as well. With the coffee, we are talking about the best of the best equipment, okay? The best grinders, best coffee machine, best tools. Uh, I bet you less than 20 grand, okay? 15, 20 grand. You, you're, you are going to get the best of the best in the world. So, comes to hobby, coffee is not that bad, okay? Coffee is pretty good, all right? You can actually justify whatever you want to buy. Uh, comes to coffee. So, again, uh, if you're a coffee hobbyist, <clears throat> make sure to subscribe to this channel. You are in the right place, okay? Uh, we, are, we, are, we are going to have some fun with uh, this channel here. We go live pretty much daily, talk about coffee, talk about gadgets and gears. And this morning, we are going to talk about the P, uh, P64 Myzen Gen 2. Uh, okay, so this grinder here, I do not have to use a shimmy. Uh, Rain asked me about the shim. No, I don't have to uh, use a shim for this because with the Gen 2, they actually made a right adjustment, the right height, so you don't have to shim it, okay? You don't have to shim it. So this morning, I'm gonna be brewing, all right? Uh, say coffee. So this is a light roast, okay, very light roast, say coffee. Uh, I tried it with the last week. I still remember that vividly, the taste notes. So I'm gonna compare with uh, Gen 2 with my memory, okay? But if a mem my memory serves, um, serves me well, so uh, I think we're gonna be fine, okay? I think we're gonna be fine. I'm really looking forward to brewing this coffee this morning. Uh, here are the tasting notes. Intoxicating floor, okay? Intoxicating floor. Watermelon, that's one of my favorite tasting notes. And peach. And the lively citrus acidity, okay? So it's gonna be bright. It's gonna be really bright, sweet, it's gonna be wonderful, okay? This is a, a washed coffee, by the way. So this is the Ethiopia washed. Uh, it's called Kubi, okay, Kubi. I already measured out 18 grams here. Uh, comes to my equipment this morning. Uh, I'm using, I'm gonna go all out, guys. Uh, this is a Posada high ear basket, okay? Posada high ear basket. So I'm gonna get the maximum extraction this morning. And uh, with high ear baskets, you don't have to use paper, okay? Uh, if you're gonna add another paper to the, on the bottom, it's gonna be even fast flow rate. So it's already fast enough. But if you're using like IMS baskets, uh, it does help with another uh, puck paper on the bottom, increase the flow rate, okay? For sure. So let's uh, brew without the paper this morning. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, let, meantime, I'm gonna flip the camera, okay? So let's see the workflow. Let's flip the camera here for a sec. Uh, so it comes to zero point. I'm, I'm pretty fine this morning. Okay, so here's my zero point right there. I'm about four notch up. Okay. And see. I'm got 18 gram going in. Unfortunately, with uh, P64, the RDT is recommended. RDT means it's called Rust Rapid Technique. Uh, lower the static. Okay, lower the static there. If you are joining us for the first time, let me know, okay? If you are a first timer, let me know. All right, here we go. Let's brew some coffee. Uh, we are using high ear baskets. And then I do like to do some WDT as well. Okay. Just, you know, not too much, just a little bit, just to make sure nice and everything is flat. Uh, 
quick distribution. I think this is a fun part of making coffee, the workflow. You just have some fun with it. I mean, I'm using the Posado tools this morning. All right. Let's brew some coffee here. Very clean edge. So this great thing about 58.5 millimeter. Give it a very clean edge. I'm just gonna hit on my puck screen. Let's lock it in. All right, so we're gonna do a blooming shot. I mean, I really had a good success with the blooming shot last time. Uh, blooming shot's going to be a pretty simple recipe there. I'm gonna bloom about five or six seconds before. So my plan is I'm going to hit it hard. Okay, I'm gonna hit it hard with a full paddle, okay? Which means a full force of water. And then I'm gonna shut it down all the way, okay? I'm gonna wait about five seconds. I'm gonna slowly introduce up to like six bars. And I'm gonna yield about 42 gram, okay? So that is the plan. Here we go. I'm just gonna one, two, three. I'm gonna shut it off. I'm gonna slowly introduce. You see that right there? Go up to six bars. About 47 gram at 22 seconds. I think I can go a little finer next time. But we'll see. So let's try these shots. Obviously we have a plenty of room to go down as well. So when it comes to spacing, we have some time to go. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, uh, by the way, how many people actually own a P64 with a Meisenberg? Uh, let me know. Okay, let me know in the comment section. Okay, here we go, guys. Cheers. Man, I can, I can smell the floor. S floor and peach. And some uh, watermelon. Not quite yet. Here we go. Cheers. Man. Okay. It's a lot better than the, the last week. I, I said more roundish as well. More round, more smooth. Or sweeter. Man, you know what? I'm gonna go a little finer this time, okay? Uh, as this, I mean, this is really good already, okay? If I bet you I'm gonna do uh, dialing a little bit more finer, okay? I bet you I can bring out even more sweetness. All right, I think I can bring out more sweetness there. So uh, let, uh, let's do one more time here. <clears throat> let's do one more. I'm just going to go down a little bit finer. Okay. I'm just going to go a little bit more finer here. And then uh, I'm, I'm not going to do RDT this time. Okay, so uh, you are going to go see it. Okay, you're going to see uh, with and without RDT. All right. <clears throat> You're going to see a little more static to the side there. It's a little bit more static, but again, if you are, as long as you are using the dosing cup, you're not gonna have any issues, all right? By the way, if you are thinking about buying uh, high ear baskets, I mean, any high ear baskets, okay? So this is the one thing I don't like about high ear baskets. Let me show you what that is.
it's hard the puck is hard to come out all right okay you you just has to work it so but once you come out it's pretty nice and dry inside but again the getting it out is a little bit more trickier than a regular basket because they're straight wall okay that's why that that's why they're a little bit more tricky but i think that's the worth the little pain there okay worth the little pain to get it out i'm just gonna clean up my pore filter all right let's get going another puck prep again I think I do enjoy the the propping here with espresso okay, that is a fun let's say enjoyable part of making coffee all the gadgets and tools all right here we go I mean this is really fine there so let's see it okay I'm just gonna add my puck screen Okay, here I go. Again, I'm just gonna do the exact same blooming shot. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one, two, and three. I'm gonna shut up. Wait about a few more seconds. Whenever I see the drops, slowly introduce the coffee. Go after about six bar, five or six bars there. Hanging, hang out there for a while. Go up to about 40 gram, 45 gram at 26 seconds. So this is a lot better than last one. Should make a difference in the shot quality, okay? It's not pretty, right? There's no whole lot of crema like what you expected, but I mean, that's the great thing about the light roast. Do not fool by the crema, guys. Okay, crema looks great, but comes to taste, no, it's not that good. I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad <clears throat> because crema is very bitter and yeah, it's not that great. All right, so this shot here is, uh, I, I think it's gonna be a lot better than, uh, not uh, better than last one. Man, I, I smells even better, okay. The four second makes a huge difference in shot quality. Here you go, cheers. Oh yeah, it's more round, more smooth. I think you're gonna, you, you, you guys are going to like it. I think if you think about upgrading to Meisenberg Gen 2, uh, if you're gonna get only one burst, Kind of like if you do, I mean, I, I did try with the filter coffee uh, yesterday as well, okay. Uh, the, it does well, okay. I have to say it, it performs well with filter and, the okay, filter and espresso, okay. And it's not bad at all, okay. It's not bad at all. I'm going to shout out to Mr. Rainbow. All right, Mr. Rainbow for the super chat there as well. And then, uh, so here's a que uh, question for Mr. Rainbow. Is your name Jeffrey or Jonathan? Okay, we, I, I need to confirm that because I thought last time we talked your name was Jonathan, but someone told me your name is Jeffrey. So yeah, let me know what uh, which name is the correct names. Because uh, if that's the case, I've been calling you your name for wrong for years. All right, so hopefully I'm gonna have some. Uh, answers from Mr. Rainbow. 
Ah, there we go. See Jeffrey Jonathan Oren. Okay. Yeah, that that's right. So J Jonathan is his middle name. Okay, we got it. So we got this. All right. Okay. So again, uh, if you're looking for one verse, okay. If you're looking at one birds, uh, Meisenberg Gen 2. Not the Gen 1, Gen 2. I think you're going to be really happy with it. Okay, let's put it that way. Uh, by the way, I have the video. Okay, I have the video on uh, the first look. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. The first look and the installation video on my description section. So make sure to check out that video. Uh, if you guys are uh, looking into even more detail, side-by-side -side comparison as well. Uh, make sure to look at that video uh, on the description section. Make sure to uh, click that link. <clears throat> okay, make sure to check it out. All right, and then uh, what else? <clears throat> Again, so I think th this is the, so far the best birds out there 2023. Here's the thing about the birds, guys. They evolve, okay? They always change. So Meisen one, uh, Meisen bird Gen 1 last year, right? Nice Gen 2. Guess what? Who knows next year? They're going to come up with new birds. Okay, Gen 3. Okay, we have uh, MP birds. We got the HU, cast. Never ends. Okay, never ends. So, goodness. And I mean, this is a great time for coffee hobbyists, but it's going to be a bad time for your pockets. Okay, see, this is a bad time for your pockets. I know we got holidays coming. All right. I mean, if you have a family, but if you're a single guy, okay, I know quite a lot of my friends are single, okay, goodness, uh, do it, okay, I mean, this is a great hobby for a single person, it's perfect, all right, it's pretty clean, right, safe, you know, very uh, great for social, you know, invite some friends over. I, I, we are joking about it the other day. I mean, this is the kind. I mean, when, when's the last time your your friends was bragging about your coffee gear? Okay, never. All right, do not brag about your coffee gear to your non-coffee drinkers. Okay, uh, they think you are crazy. All right, and the Marshall say, as far as uh, Javi goes, yeah, coffee is pretty cheap. Uh, that is true, Marshall. Okay, uh, we covered this uh, earlier. I mean, this is a. Uh, pretty cheap hobby okay I mean so that's the one way to justify your buying habits okay if you have loved ones asking you why you spend so much money on your coffee right coffee gears tell them this is your hobby okay this is your hobby mr. rainbow say I'm thinking about taking the plunge to going to 58 millimeter uh, Jonathan no don't okay stay at the uh, 54 millimeter buddy all right 58 is not, it's not that cracked up to be, all right? It's not that cracked up to be, okay? Because uh, with 54 millimeter, they got a lot of uh, great, uh, they got a lot of fantastic uh, tools out there, baskets, tools. I think you're gonna have some fun with it. Uh, but once you go to 58, guess what? Never ends, okay? comes to incremental improvement on your coffee quality is about that big okay are you still gonna have some great time with 54 millimeter I, I think uh, we should go over that uh, next co couple of days as well okay uh, let's see here so now so here's the thing about the uh, coffee birds right so which is a minimum okay I mean I thought about this one uh, the other day what which grinder is a minimum grind to buy to start us interchanging the birds? Oh, uh, let me put it this way. Uh, you don't want to buy, you know, some, you know, cheap grinder, okay? You don't want to buy some cheap 64 millimeter grinder to start swapping out birds. You want to be something capable, all right? <clears throat> you want to be something capable grinder that you can start swapping out birds. So I, I thought about it the other day. So I thought about a couple of grinders I'm thinking of. All right, I'm thinking about the DF, uh, DF64 Gen 2, okay? I'm not talking about Gen, uh, Gen 1 with the version 5. I'm talking about Gen 2 right behind me, okay? So that's the one I'm thinking about to start swapping out birds with a Gen 2 birds because it has a 
plasma generator built in, which means anti-static as well. Uh, if not, <coughs> DF64V, uh, okay, that's a variable speed, all right? So that's pretty close to, very close to P64, comes to look and feel of it. <coughs> so that's not the, that's not bad uh, grinder to get if you are into 64 millimeter flapper. Uh, I know some of you think about the O64S, right, uh, from Timor. Uh, very affordable, but switching out burrs, they're a pain in the butt, okay? It's not that easy. So you want something easy to interchange burrs in and out. So I think a piece uh, DF64 is a pretty good option. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Gen 2 or uh, DF64V as well. So. I mean, so uh, we, go, we are going to talk about that even more in uh, the uh, coming days. So I'm thinking about swapping out burst to uh, one of my DF64. So, uh, so and then I, I do want to compare with Meisenberg <coughs> Gen 2 versus the burst from uh, DFs. Uh, should be really fun, uh, fun, interesting comparison. Okay, uh, we have a Nexus. Ask a filter. How's the filter coffee compared to DF? 64 Gen 2. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, I haven't done side by side test yet. Because think about the price difference though. Uh, Gen 2 is about what, $3.99 at uh, Joe's website, Espresso Outlet. Okay, I don't have the link, but I'm going to put that, uh, his link down below about, yeah, $3.99, okay. But P64, that's almost two grand. All right, five times more. So, yeah, huge price difference. Uh, I, I, need, I need to have Sal over uh, hopefully this week. Uh, I, need, I I gotta do some uh, blind tasting. So I do want to blind taste P64 with the Gen 2 burrs and they're just plain stock DF64 Gen 2. Okay, and see. Because I know it's gonna be P64 is better, but I want to know how much better. <coughs> how much better. Okay, Dogman asks, uh, Dogman <coughs> say that uh, Walk 2, okay, if you don't know Walk 2 is, uh, Lance did a uh, video on it, what, a couple of days ago, Lance did a, it's called Walk 2, uh, that is a pretty spectacular grinder there, <coughs> that is a legit grinder, so, <coughs> okay, hold on a second here. All right, Osman say I have a DF, yeah, DF64V with, yep, with a DRC burr. I mean, that's good option, okay? I have that at home, on my home setup, yeah, with a V with DRC burrs. DRC burr is, they are pretty good, I have to say. I'm pretty happy with it. So, if, I mean, that's really uh, good burrs to start with, okay? I think I think that's the same burrs, uh, same coating as the, Fella O, okay, the Gen 2, Gen 2 burrs, they're coming up the upgraded burrs, uh, they do a DRC coating, all right, so, all right, so hold on a second, uh, I must say, love the burr chamber of the DF64 Gen 2, yeah, all right, we have a uh, fight for 77, did your boiler from your Brista Express go ever bad? <coughs> might went bad okay so there's no boiler all right there's no boiler on the uh Briable Brista express uh, their thermal block which means pump okay yeah so so yeah there's no boiler on Briable Brista express so i wonder you might just need to replace the pump okay yeah let me know what uh, what your problem is okay better yet uh Go uh, go to my Discord channel, okay? We have a lot of Bravo Brista Express experts on my Discord channel, so you can ask them. All right? I mean, I mean, they can fix anything. Okay? Yeah. M make sure, uh, make sure come to my uh, Discord there. I have a, a Brista Express section, so yeah, you can ask my guys. Okay, so Chris say I'm wanting to move away from budget grinder, something better. Okay, espresso. <clears throat> Man. Oh, goodness. Uh, comes to something decent. Uh, DF is a pretty good grinder. Okay. 
All right. I mean, Joe is on the, our live chat right now. Joe is the owner of Espresso Outlet. Okay. But I mean, definitely uh, DF is a really good uh, kind of step up from the budget. And uh, it's, DF's been around for a while. And that's the one thing I like about DF because it has history behind it. Keep evolving. Okay. Keep evolving there. So, yeah. But with the timer uh, grinder, 64 millimeter, they're affordable, but it's height, uh, it's hard to get it, okay? And plus, there's no track records, okay? Um, and because um, if you want to buy grinder, just make sure, okay, what kind of support I'm going to get from the, you know, the outlet you are buying from, right? Just make sure you have the proper support, proper team. Uh, that's important because, you know, I mean, we are talking about machine, okay? Sooner or later, it's going to go bad, so... What kind of supports are you going to get? All right. All right. I think we, we are. Are we good this morning? I've been talking for half an hour here. Okay. If you have first time watching us, joining us, uh, this is what we do every day. Okay. We, we, we just talk about the coffee and coffee gears. We just hang out, make some coffee. You know, nothing special. Okay. And then once in a while, we review some coffee products, coffee gear. Uh, by the way, uh, I got a big unboxing coming up. Next, uh, this week, Autocom from Brista Hustle. Okay, Autocom is uh, another spectacular coffee tools. If you're a coffee hobbyist, you know what this is, okay? Uh, this is excellent, okay? By the way, so Joe from Espresso Outlet is uh, doing the Kickstarter. All right, the kickstart on uh, one of his uh, ice brewer, okay? Ice coffee maker. All right, make sure to check out uh, Joe's website for that. Uh, he's launching an ice coffee maker. Very high tech, okay? I wish him the best, all right? I wish him the best there. Uh, I heard some people that they make some spectacular ice coffee. Joe says today, okay? Joe says today uh, he's going launch on Kickstarter. All right, make sure to check out the Joe's. You know, uh, I'm gonna put the Joe's website. Okay, so make sure you guys can check it out. Okay, the, the yeah, Espresso Outlet there. Okay, folks. All right, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, I'll be back later. Okay, I'll be back later. We got a lot to cover. Okay, we got a lot to cover. Hold on. Uh, we have a spoke joining us. Le uh, join the party late. What was your favorite 64 millimeter? Okay, so so far I like the Gen 2 Meisenbergs. They give you that, you know, I mean, just right balance of the body and the uh, brightness. J just right, okay? Because with the HU birds, give you a lot of body to it, okay? Not a whole lot of clarity, but it's really good. But MP birds is uh, totally opposite. By the way, the naming is uh, our opposite. High uniformity should be high uniform, but it's not, okay? HU has a lot more uh, body and texture. The MP, the multi-purpose has a uh, uniform grounds, so give you a lot more clarity. So it's all different, but again, the Meisenberg, the Gen 2 is right on the between. So right on between, you got the Caspers, right on between there. I say uh, the DRC birds from the DF64, uh, v, okay, has a DRC birds are kind of like in similar in that right on between, and then the Meisen birds Gen 2. I think they refined it even more. So, uh, so far Meisen bird Gen 2 is my uh, bird so far. But again, it all depends on the coffee too, okay. But if you pick the one birds right for this year, uh, so Meisen is a, a pretty. Good. But you know what, cast is not that bad either. That's all good birds. Okay, but great thing about uh, for me is I get to compare it. For you, if you got nothing to compare with, man, you know what? Don't bother. Okay, just happy with what you have, unless you're gonna have a two grinders to have both birds side by side. I mean, that's the only way you are going to know. Okay, so if you only have a one a one grinder, thinking about getting another birds, all right, uh, you are going to tell the difference. Maybe first day, second day, but after that, all the same. So, so that's my recommendation. All right, okay, folks, I'm going to see you guys this afternoon.